Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a new video where I'm doing uh, a really bright green cat eye. So it's got a pinup twist where it's a little bit more modern and edgy. I hope you like it. Um, be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you do. And if you have questions, leave them down below. I will answer any questions you have. Today I'm using Airbrush Makeup and I'll list some of the products down below. Um, and if you're interested and I've missed something, just let me know. But I'm using a very bright neon green. I've already put on a very light coat of foundation. Um, I use a 135 and a 117 or 106 um, in the Dynair Airbrush Makeup Brand. Um, lashes are already on, so I'm just kind of cleaning up my look for the day and brightening it up. So I'm going to go in and do some neon green. Sorry, my gun's just sticking here. It happens. People don't talk about it, but it happens, especially when you're filming videos. So today I'm just cleaning it out. I'm cleaning the nozzle, um, and then I'm gonna go back in. You have to make sure you really shake the neon and the opalescent colors really well. Um, they can clog. They're not as uh, fluid as the other colors. Just something to keep in mind. And I'm basically uh, just really focusing on my ends because I want that cat eye look. I'm doing underneath my eye because I love to blur it out. I don't like to do fine lines. I love the more ombre look. So if you like that look, you're going to enjoy this video. Um, this is actually a really fast and easy way to do airbrush makeup eyes. And what I love is the colors are so bright and vibrant that it only takes me a second to get a look that could possibly take hours with not hours, that's an exaggeration, but 45 minutes with powders. So, and I find the colors stay on really well. I didn't do a setting spray afterwards and it stayed on, so it was really nice. So like I said, I'm going in with the neon green and I'm also going in with right now with the apple teeny. It's darker than the neon green, so I'm putting it over top the lid. It'll give it that shimmer, tone down that neon, but see how it just heightens it and gives it another shade of green? It's really quite pretty if you have dark hair. Even if you have uh, bright hair, this is a really fun way to do your eye makeup. Now I did get some on my lashes, but don't worry because we're gonna go in and do a black kind of cat eye. Uh, once again, ombre style, blurred out. And that, and you can go in and just color the top of your lashes really quickly. So this is really great also if you're someone who wears glasses but really wanna wear eye makeup. Uh, you can just blend your colors in. Now you can see that I made a little mistake there. It happens, don't worry about it. So I'm gonna tap it with my, with my Q-tip. But what I'm gonna do is go back in at the end. So be patient, layer your colors. And sometimes I feel the black's a little harsh, so I, I'll tone it down and that's why I say just be patient. It's okay if you make mistakes. And I'm very gently going in and doing that black and being very careful not to go too high up but enough so that I get kind of a shape towards the end I'm doing kind of a loose triangle and I like to extend out you don't have to you can do the same look and keep it very tiny and small so I'm going to go in with the apple teeny no I'm going to do the neon green then the apple teeny but I'm just going to go back in over that lid I'm also going to go over the black a little bit just to tone it down so I just get more of the black on the edges, and I find that gives me a really nice ombre effect with the greens and black. Um, if you like that look um, and you have questions, feel free to leave them down below. But I love doing kind of ombre eyeshadows versus um, cut creases and all that, but that's just me. They're all beautiful. So as you see, I'm going in and just blending it out, and I'm really going to even it out. I'm not doing fine lines, so once again, step back and look at it and just use color and shading, lights and darks, to build this look. And we're going to go back in there a little bit more green. Now I'm doing the apple teeny. And you see how it just covered that? And we've easily fixed the situation. A really easy way and a quick fix for airbrush makeup, which can be really difficult if you don't know, if you, if you spray and you make a mistake, don't freak out. So a little light in the corners. And there we go. It's complete. So now I'm going to go in. And I'm going to clean up my foundation. It's all worn out. So I'm doing 106 which you may think is too light for me, but I do it through the center of the face. And then I do uh, three drops of the 135. So I'm mixing a white and a brown, really. And um, instead of spending time just contouring and doing heavy white, this is another quick way to do your foundation where I'm balancing out the color. I'm covering my darker skin and discoloration. There's a little bit of concealer on there uh, prior to this, but... Um, I find with the airbrush makeup, if you're in a hurry or you need to fix something quick, this is a really great way to do it. So I'm halfway through the day and so I decided to clean up my makeup and do this video just to brighten my eyes. And we're going to keep evening out the skin tone. I like to blend it into the neck. It's total 
your preference. Um, you don't have to. I like to do light and shadow, so I'll take the lighter color and go through the lower part of my mouth because I have a little more discoloration there. I'm using a Da Vinci pink powder. I love this. It's And I'm just tapping it through underneath the eye, around the mouth, and just a little in the forehead. Fixing those bangs for you. All right, so a little close up. I hope you liked the video, guys, and I hope that you learned something from this. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. This is a beautiful way to get an easy airbrush ombre look with your eye makeup. See you guys later. Bye.